The next couple slides are all about finances because this is this is really uh, what matters. I mean, if you want to quit your job and go into business for yourself, you probably need an income to pay your mortgage. I mean, maybe someone else is paying their mortgage for you, or you might be independently wealthy. I don't know, but uh, most of us have you know some living expenses that we, that we have to uh, maintain. So, you know, going through a checklist and making sure that your own personal finance financial house is in order. You know, that you have as little debt as possible, as much savings as possible, and that your living expenses are minimized. I mean, that the less you need to bring in every month, the closer you're going to be to being able to walk in and give, you know, hand in your resignation letter and, and be able to pursue some other dream. Because living expenses have to be paid. Um, and it's also important, you know, for you to keep good records uh, if you're going out on your own and truly on your own, like a sole proprietorship. Um, uh, for example, so Rivalry is a sole proprietorship right now. At the moment, I'm just maintaining a website, so I really have no expenses. But again, I need to be able to come tax time, reconcile what if I was spending money, like if I did have to buy a new computer and I claimed I was using it for the business, or bought new software and claimed for the business, I have to. Right now, I would be using that as my own money, but if I want it to work with the business, I have to keep good records and reconcile that with my accountant until the end of the year. Um, and so also, you know, before you go out, you want to understand what it's going to cost to be in business. Um, and there's two parts to that. There's your startup costs and then your, what you imagine your operating costs to be. Um, your startup costs were, again, if I need to buy a computer, um, some, you know, development software, development environment, server, who knows. Um, it could be minimal or, again, in the case of my retail store, it was quite extensive. I needed, you know, $60,000 worth of startup stuff. But I'm setting up a store with furniture and equipment and all that thing. And then, what does it cost to operate the business once once you get going? And creating a realistic operating budget is uh, is difficult if you don't really have any data to go on. Um, and this is actually where, when we were talking about a minute ago, the trade association, I was actually able to, when I started my retail store, there was a trade association of studios like mine. And once you joined the association, um, you did pay yearly dues. I mean, you you had access to a host of financial data, because the, the organization did surveys of the businesses, the member of businesses every year, and they would provide that to other members. And that was actually, um, when I created the business plan, the financial section was called Realistically Conservative by the Bank. I'm very, very, very proud of it. Um, and so right now, a pretty simple um, riot, I'm just posting a website. And uh, again, Zabba, where you say with your computer and internet connection, so some of the bot businesses might Required very little. You need more. There's a bazillion ways to raise money <laughs> out there. Um, I needed a, a 100k small business loan um, for my retail store, but right now for Riot, I didn't need anything. Um, Robert, you said you didn't need anything. You have to go out and seek financing from others when you start at Aware, which is that's a great. I, I highly recommend that because uh, you have to uh, that 100k small business loan has to get paid back, and if you can start something on your own. Awesome. Um, marketing is another thing that we all have to be concerned with. Um, take advantage of anything that's free that you can do yourself. That, that is uh, absolutely my recommendation. I spent way too much money on, on marketing and advertising efforts when I had my retail store that wasn't worth it. And then each time you do spend money on something, make sure you can track it back. Um, these days, things like on the web when you're using Google, cost per click, and all that stuff, you do get statistics, but when you're off the internet and say you're doing something in print, you're doing a newspaper ad, just make sure you've got a way to know if people are are you know, seeing that. And that's why you see so many you know ads also be coupons, is because then the business can then track you know what they're seeing. I'm skipping through a little bit of time. Okay, um, working with others is a very um, important topic, you know, because you're not going to be good at everything, and so. Um, Chances are you, you're going to need someone to do something else, whether it's some programming. Um, right now, I, I have an accountant that I've been working with for almost a decade. He a, specializes in small business and worked with me all through the time I had my business and continues to work with me. So I've got an accountant, but for the moment, Rive Software, I'm doing everything else. Um, although that, you know, if, once I grow into real products, um, I'm going to have to use other people. Um, make sure that you know, other people are trust. Don't be afraid to reject someone even after you started working with them. This is includes don't be afraid to fire an employee or get rid of a consultant. Um, you know, there's many reasons um, 
but you're replacing, uh, you were working with Haptic for a while and you're replacing them with your own. You know, these are, these are business decisions you got to make that if something is not working for you, you know, just got to do it and not, not feel bad. One, one special thing I want to talk about working with others is the partnership. Uh, when I started my retail store, I did have a par business partner. And the best thing about the business partner is that we had an operating agreement that we worked out with a lawyer ahead of time, which a year in made it really easy for me to buy him out when it wasn't working out. It was a very simple process. I've heard so many horror stories of partnerships going south, and having a written operating agreement is very important. Um, employees, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of local law related to your employees. But again, don't be afraid. If you hire someone, do not be afraid to fire, fire them. So now, just before you, you go off and quit your day job, you know, having six to 12 months of expenses in the bank is a really good idea. And then make sure you have a way out, meaning when you when you give in that resignation letter, <laughs> don't burn any bridges because you, you know, like I did, you might want to go back someday. Um, and because you never know what's going to happen. Now, currently, Riot Software, it's not supporting anyone. Uh, so I, I maintain my day job and I don't have to worry about uh, what I do there. And that learns your behavior. It's you pretty much all the time, so it's awesome. And again, th you know, this isn't going into business for yourself is not for everybody. It takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, and the thing is that you know, a lot of us in this room are programmers. Um, are you sure you want to be more than just the programmer? Because you know, once you have the business to worry about, you've got everything else to worry about. I mean, you know, I own the paint and pottery studio, and people always like ask me, "Oh, so you like to paint, or you get to paint all day?" No. In fact, since I closed the business, I've done more painting than I ever did when I, when I, when I opened it. Because um, I was doing everything else. Managing my employees, dealing with customer service, dealing with the landlord, paying bills, taxes, everything, marketing. Um, so if you're interested in the business, make sure that your interests are more than just the product that you want. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, the time and energy into this. I mean, for my, my little free product <laughs> on, on my website, I've spent over 150 hours over the past year on that one and the one I'm about to put out. Uh, that's a significant time when you work a, a full-time demanding job. Um, in Zappa, where you were telling me that it's uh, developed over two years, so that's a significant time for me too to get a, a good first product out. Okay. So if you are actually really interested in starting your own business, I mean, start writing your plan. Start start thinking that along that way. I mean, if you're a software programmer and that's what you do, that'll come. So focus on some of the other aspects of your business. And the last slide is just I put up a few resources. Um, of course, I've got my books out there, which are, are fun. Uh, Joel on software, if you haven't read his books, um, I know a couple, I have a couple of friends who own some software companies. His methods of, of scheduling uh, and getting things done are fabulous. The Enif book series, um, that's kind of what I hit on a minute ago. If you're the programmer, make sure you know, and you want to start your business, that doesn't mean you're going to be programming full time. Um, the Grill Marketing series is also a great series of books on marketing, especially in a frugal way. Which is good. Um, and some websites, I guess the um, what I'm going to hit down back at the bottom actually is um, now this is this is true in the U.S. The U.S. has a small business development centers, and they're local. They're throughout the country. If you're thinking of starting a business, go to your local one, and they have a great resource, most of it free, um, seminars on starting a business, how to. They're usually, they know who to talk to um, with respect to your local laws and what you need to know locally. Um, they were, they reviewed my business plan before I submitted it to the bank and that was very valuable. And then, you know, local chamber of commerce is also a great place to network and meet people from all sorts of, of, of uh, ways of life. That's how I met my accountant. So I've met other professionals that I've worked with as you know, in addition to marketing my own business and getting, getting clients from there. So you never know. <laughs> Sorry, so yeah, um, going fast for the last couple of slides. But, um, so I want to say that you know, people, good luck. Um, I hope folks, you know, will keep in touch because I do love to talk to people about you know the process of getting started. I think it's a, a real fun process. I'm excited to be going through it myself, although at an incredibly slow pace right now. 